What's going on everyone? Quick intro to an intro here. Sorry I've not been banging out content like I used to. I want to focus more time on making these videos to a consistent standard. That being said, I've recently started streaming over at Twitch and I'm trying to stream three times a week. So head over to the Twitch channel so you can come chill while I'm creating this content. Here goes. Yo yo, what's going on my Jesus Naughty Neil here with another Rust video. So this one's a bit different, I've got a base design video. Right, so what I'm going to do is open these doors now. <laughs> yes mate! It's a trap base, it's unraidable, <laughs> it's a bunker, it's a starter base. You can use it um, literally on white day and it's crazy. So do you find yourself locked in your base on white day? There's people knocking on your door. They're, they're hitting your walls with the pickaxes, voice chat, let's say um, we're going to raid you. And you know there's somebody out there because you can hear the footsteps and you know the moment you open the door that there's going to be a dude with a full rubber hazmat with a double barrel shotgun pointed at your head. And you can hear them. And it just makes you feel like you can't make progress. But don't give up. Wait, there's a solution. With this space, you can actually let them in. Hey up mate, are you alright? What's cracking off in here? Can you hear me alright? What's going on? What's going on? You're not actually going to get out. You just can't break this door. So you, you're literally you're stuck mate, honestly. I ain't going to let you out now because it's, it's for YouTube content. So it's, it's what you're going to do with your day, kind of thing. Just sit there, break out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even if you drain the traps, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get enough, you wouldn't be able to get out, mate. spend your day because I'm gonna edit this into a nice little video mate a nice little video it is so let's just work on building this base it starts off one by one and this is why it's great for white day one by one just use a wooden door or a metal door, it don't really matter. Right, just get that all upgraded. Stone, get your TC down. Now, if you get your TC and you put it right here against this line, there, right up to the line, straight. 
straight. You can fit a box in. Get it perfect and it will fit and then if you jump onto the box you can put a bag down just there perfect one by one but you've still got your door campers so just put you put a foundation down come out shut your door then put two half walls and now this is your bunker you do a lower triangle and two upper ones just upgrade the whole thing straight away. If it's wipe day, just have a little bit and just keep sorting yourself out in case you've got people coming at you with. Let's try and grump you, but yeah, so then put three half walls or leave, sorry, put two. Come down and then put the wall at uh, the ceiling. And then put the half wall in after just so because you can get the line of sight. Now you want your door here facing in, which just to make it awkward so no one can see your door. Now I think my audio is messed up. So, um, just finish off doing the walls and the ceiling, put the door down and upgrade. So for the bunker you put a little half wall, leave it thatch, and then put a wall on top of it, a full wall. Upgrade that and destroy the half wall. Upgrade from inside. So now you, your TC is got its own little core there, as you can see. So it's pretty safe. So now for an airlock, we're going to put an airlock. You have to come outside to put the thatch foundation down. So I put a door on the bottom and then half wall and a triangle floor. As you can see, now the next important thing is if you put a furnace here, you can put, you've got extra storage just up here on top of your TC core. So that's pretty cool. I like to put one sideways and then have one hanging over the top sometimes, or then sometimes I just have two facing forwards at the back. So I'll have one. So the one on the left will be pushed back and I'll have another one. And then you've got space for your, tea, uh, your tier ones and whatnot. Now for the trap, if you put two shotguns here, and this is why this base is unraidable, because if you think about it, on wipe day, no one's really got explosives, or if they've got explosives, then they're not gonna get through this metal floor. It's two satchels, uh, four for a metal door, or one C4. So then, but no one's going to have that on white day. So, realistically, they're not going to be able to get through that wall. They could probably, like, got a wooden door, use flame arrows. So, anyway, let's have a look. Let's raid it. So I've added a bit of honeycomb, 
I like to just use stone for the outside because realistically you don't need much else. So they're going to come through the door. We bought rockets and C4. Because we know what the outcome is, but realistically. They'll get to this point, realise that they can't get in because of the half walls and they'll have to build their way in anyway. So then, once they've got in, they'll have to see four going into that four anyway. So, thanks for watching guys. I hope you find this useful and make sure you drop me um, a follow on Twitch and I'm streaming these kind of videos Zombies, Rust, Daisy, all different things so thanks for watching, safe